In this lesson, we're looking at the surface and lateral area of prisms and pyramids. Let's take a look at the difference between a prism and a pyramid. So a prism is a solid with uh, two bases that are parallel. So we have an example here, or several examples of a prism. Uh, you have a triangular prism because we have those two bases that are triangles. And so um, the opposite sides are congruent and parallel. So that would be a prism. It has two bases. Now a pyramid is a solid with only one base and faces that meet at a point. And so the square pyramid we have here, the base is a square right here. And the point at which the faces meet are called the apex. So the difference between a prism and a pyramid, a prism has two bases and a prism only has one base. First, let's take a look at the surface area of a rectangular prism or cube. And I put or cube because it is the same formula for surface area. And so we have the formula right here and we're just gonna use that to find the surface area. First, let's label everything. So my length is seven feet, width 13, and height is nine feet. So I'm just going to plug it into the formula here. Surface area equals 2 times L times W. That's length and width. And that would be 7 times 13 plus 2 times length times height. That would be 7 times 9. And plus 2 times W times H or width times height. And that would be times 9 times 13. And then I just simplify it. Um, using order of operations, we know we multiply before we add. And so 2 times 7 times 13 is 182. 2 times 7 times 9 is 126. And 2 times 9 times 13 is 234. And then I will simply just add those numbers together. And I get 542 feet squared for this rectangular prism. I'd like for you to try this problem on your own. So use the formula given. Go ahead and pause the video and try this problem on your own. So you should have gotten 580 centimeters squared. Hopefully you got it correct. If not, go ahead and just pause the video and analyze the work here just a little more. Let's take a look at another type of prism. Can you guess what kind of prism this is? Well, we have these triangular bases. So this is a triangular prism. And so we want to find the lateral area as well as the surface area. And I have the formula here. So first we want to find the lateral area and that's the area of the non-base uh, faces and then add the area of the bases. And so for the lateral area, um, that's H times P. H is the height between the bases. And so since we have these triangles here, the height between the bases is 3. So my height is 3. P is for perimeter, and that is for perimeter of the base. And so this is 5, 12. So this will have to be 10 because remember those um, opposite bases are, those bases are congruent. And so if I just add perimeter equals... 5 plus 12 plus 10, that is 27. So my lateral area is H times P. Uh, H is 3, P is 27. So my lateral area is 81. So I found my lateral area, should have been LA. And now I want to actually find the base before I find the surface area. The base this large B stands for area of the base. So remember the formula for area of a triangle is one half base times height. Because my bases are triangles. So one half the base of this triangle here. Remember the base and height are perpendicular to one another. So if I'm looking at each of these triangles, we have this right angle here. So that tells me that they are per these two lines are perpendicular. So my base is 12 and my height will have to be 4.1 because base and height are perpendicular. Then I just multiply them through. So 
So I should say that this is actually the base. So base is, uh, this is the formula for area of a triangle. And so B is 24.6. All right, so now I can find the surface area. Let me use another color here. Let's try green. All right, so surface area is equal to H times P. And H times P is really your lateral area. So I'm just going to plug in my lateral area. So if you look at the top here. Um, that's just 81 plus 2 times my base. The base is 24.6. Simplifying that, uh, that's 49.2. And then adding them, I get 130.2 kilometers squared. So I have found the surface area and the lateral area of this prism. And again, my lateral area is right here. All right, I have a problem here that I would like for you to try on your own. I gave you an extra formula here, so that may help you out with trying to find uh, the base. So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem on your own. All right, so hopefully you understand my work here. Um, the lateral area is in red here. It is uh, 1,095. And the surface area is uh, 1,587 feet. And if you notice here, the lateral area is in the formula for the surface area. So hopefully you got it correct. Um, it, it is a trapezoid, um, pri trapezoid prism. Uh, so that is why I gave you the formula for, formula for area of a trapezoid because the bases are trapezoid. So hopefully you got it correct. If not, just pause the video and analyze my work here a little more. So now let's take a look at uh, some pyramids. And if you notice with the lateral area and surface area formula, the lateral area takes up a large portion of the surface area formula. So first, let's find a lateral area. That is one half L times P. L is the slant height. So if you think of something that is slanted, it is kind of diagonal. It's not straight up and down. And so my slant height here is 11.7. So I'm just going to label that L. And P is the perimeter of the base. The base here is this square. So every side is equal. So the perimeter of this square is, I'm just going to say 8 times 4, or you can just add 8 4 times. So the perimeter of the square is um, 32. So now I'm just going to plug it into this formula for lateral area. So lateral area is equal to 1 half the slant height, which is 11.7, and the perimeter is uh, 32. Just multiplying that straight through. I get 187.2, and this is in meters, so meters squared. So lateral area is here. And then the base, the base is, um, the large B is for area of the base, so we have a square. So area of this base here is length times width, right? Or base times height, so eight times eight. So the, the base area is 64 meters so I'm not going to put meters yet so now I'm doing that because I have to find the base to plug it into my surface area formula so surface area is equal to the lateral area I've already found it one half L times P is 187.2 plus the area of the base so 8 times 8 is 64 so I just add the two numbers 251.2 meters squared, and that is the surface area of this pyramid. I have a problem here for you to try, so go ahead and pause the video and find the lateral and surface area of this pyramid. All right, so for the lateral area, you should have gotten 174 inches squared. I have it here in red. 
And for the surface area, 199 inches squared. So hopefully you got them correct. Uh, if not, of course, pause the video and analyze my work here just a little more. So I just have one more example here before I have you try one on your own of a pyramid. This is a triangular pyramid because the base is a triangle. Um, so again, we want to find a lateral area and the surface area. So lateral area is equal to one half the slant height. So the slant height here is 6.7, plugging that in, seven, not five. And the perimeter of the base, so my base is a triangle here, so all sides are 10. So I'm just gonna add 30, 10 plus 10 plus 10, and that is 30 for the perimeter. So slant height, perimeter of the base, I added 10 plus 10 plus 10. All right, so just trying to save some space here. So my lateral area is 1 half times 6.7 uh, times 30, and that is 100.5. This is in inches. So this is my lateral area. Let's go ahead and find the area of the base. So the base is a triangle. So the formula for area of a triangle, and remember, is 1 half base times height. So one half base times height. So the triangle here, remember the height and uh, base are always perpendicular. So uh, my base here is 10. So one half 10. And then the height here would be this piece here, which is the 8.7. Just multiplying that straight across. 1 half times 10 times 8.7, I can put it here, 43.5, erasing this. So now I'm just going to plug it into the surface area formula. So surface area is equal to um, 1 half L times P. So again, that's just the lateral area. So my lateral area, I've already found it, is 100.5. And then plus my base, I found that as well, which is 43.5. And adding that together, I get 144 inches squared. All right. So I found the surface area of this triangular pyramid. Okay, so we reached the last problem. Um, example eight, I would like for you to try this one on your own, finding the lateral and surface area of this pyramid. All right, so for your lateral area, you should have gotten 128.1. I have it over here in red. And the surface area, you should have gotten 149.45. Uh, if you did not get it correct, of course, pause the video and analyze my work here a little more, but hopefully you did, all right? So we've reached the end of our lesson. I want to thank you for learning with me. Some related videos are surface and lateral area of cylinders and cones and volume of prism cylinders, pyramids, and cones. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, I want to thank you for learning with me.